Man, shout out to the LDBC, man. Shout out to my brothers, Mario and Ticket, man. The hardest workers on YouTube and this basketball community, period. If y'all not subscribed to Mario's channel, NBA Latina, man, hey, that's a great channel. If you a Nuggets fan, that's where you want to be at. Got great knowledge of the game. And, man, just get, just great basketball talk, period. Um, shout out to all my other brothers. Y'all know who they are. But, man, let's get to this shit, man. Um, what I've been seeing from the Houston Rockets has been remarkable. Um, let's not get it twisted. Ime Yudoka is known for getting, getting his teams to rally towards the end of the season. And how the Rockets are looking, they look like they're not going anywhere. And how Golden State is looking, it looks like the Houston Rockets will overtake them and take their spot as well. So, um, in my opinion, the Houston Rockets – We'll get the 10th spot and we'll eliminate the Golden State Warriors out of playing in contention. And I think when the Houston Rockets play the Lakers in their first game, I think the Houston Rockets will beat the Los Angeles Lakers. So, uh, end of the day, we got to realize they are real coach. Emmanuel Douglas is great at making adjustments. If you have an opportunity for a win and take all game, Emmanuel Doka is the perfect coach for that scenario. And we've seen him been successful doing it uh and, and straight up i think the houston rockets got the talent to beat both of those teams they young but they got the talent they long athletic uh they got the right group of veterans on their team that will help them in those big game situations because van fleet he'll come up big big situation jeff green of course and dylan brooks to a certain degree dylan brooks been solid for that team and, and I just think the Houston Rockets, uh, how they looking right now, they in good shape. And you got one of the best coaches of basketball culture in this young team and giving them the confidence that they that they need. Um, and you look at that, how the Warriors are playing. The Warriors are very up and down. The Warriors been playing terrible. Um, unfortunately, the luck has ran out for Golden State. That cachet is not the same how it used to be. The Los Angeles Lakers, uh, they had a good win against Philly, but but end of the day, end of the day, I just believe yes they go stay at that ninth spot when it comes to a winner take all game in the play in when that ninth to ten seed play. I'm telling you guys, Emmanuel Dogo will come up with a hell of a game plan, and I guarantee the Rockets will beat them. So my prediction of the Lakers and the Warriors not making the playoffs looking like it's for the come to fruition. Looking like it's going to happen for real. Uh, it just it just crazy right now. Uh, what Ema Yudoka is doing is remarkable. He's doing a hell of a job. I think you should get I think you should get a lot of credit for what he's doing. It really shows and solidified how great of a coach he really is. Uh, Jalen Green. Uh, I think I've seen a new trend, man. I've seen these young bulls at Zion, Jalen Green. They play good despite of the type of women they dealing with. These young bulls messing with these, you know, these women that's in controversy, and they playing good. I don't know what I don't know what they what these women doing to them. But Zion's in shape. Jalen Green's ball and hit a forty one piece last night. And shout out to Greenlee, man. He stuck with his team all year, despite of the up and downs they've been going through. Uh, you had a lot of sentiments of how they, how a lot of people wanted Jalen Green gone, but I still think he will be gone because he made your dog a steal on one his boy, um, and Jalen Brown. And I just believe Jalen Green is extra showcasing his ability and talent to the point where the Celtics may not hesitate on that trade. And Jalen Green, honestly, would be a better fit for the Boston Celtics. He'll be better suited for Boston. But for us this season, though, the Houston Rockets will get that 10th spot, and they will eliminate Golden State. And when it's that win to take all game, the Rockets will beat the Los Angeles Lakers, man. From top to bottom, they're playing great. They got, they got, they got the interior. They got the interior that will ball to Anthony Davis. Uh, they got the guard play that will handle the Lakers. 
They got perimeter defense that can stifle some of the Lakers' greater players. Uh, the Rockets are deeper than the Lakers. The Rockets are, have a better coach than the Lakers. Uh, the Rockets just in a good spot, y'all. I'm, I'm just telling y'all now what's going to happen. So Herm guarantees the Rockets will get to Tennessee, and Herm guarantees that the Rockets will beat the Lakers in that playing game as well. And Nick T. And Golden State will be 502 in a minute because they're going to keep losing. And Nick T. Be afraid of the Houston Rockets, boy. Last time he man was in a playing situation. AC. I mean, seven seed. They put out the Brooklyn Nets. They put out Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. And then the next year, they went to the NBA Finals. Don't sleep on email, you don't get Nick T. Warriors would be home. Lakers would be home. Courtesy of the Houston Rockets. So, man, look, man, this is what we go going to do. Y'all hit that like button, man. Y'all not subscribed, subscribe. Don't be delusional like Nick T. And think that this shit can't happen at all. Just letting y'all know. Oh, yeah, I know Nick T, but I, I, want, I want to try to do a long one anyway, though. So it, it, it worked out for me that people are not up right now. They would they would check it out. They would see that Herm is cooking early in the morning. Did a quick snippet, and and and, and basically, man, just letting the people know how it go. I know Saturday night things get a little wild. You got you got these men partying. You got other cats, you know what I'm saying, getting put to sleep by that woman. You know what I'm saying, man. You got some little kids they got to deal with. You know I understand the whole night. You know that's cool. Shout out to Days 44. Shout out to Nick T. But I'm telling y'all, Houston Rockets. Go do what they do. Houston Rockets are getting that 10 spot. Houston Rockets are going to eliminate the Warriors and the Lakers. And the real Lou T, that's a fact. They've been balling, bro. We can't ignore that. That's why I'm highlighting it now. We can't ignore that. We got to be real about this shit. Shout out to Mr. Mars. Shout out to Atlanta. Shout out to Greenleaf. The Houston Rockets boys, man. Shout out to Franklin in the chat as well. The Houston Rocket boys, y'all going to have something to celebrate, man. Y'all going to have the ability to say, Y'all put out Steph Curry and LeBron Ramon James. Y'all going to take care of two birds and one stone. And you guys going to do the NBA a justice. <laughs> Y'all going to do the NBA a justice, man. Shout out to Mike Miller, man. Houston Rockets are nine deep. Jalen Green been balling. For the past month and a half. Um, they coming together. They're playing with a lot of positive energy. They bought in. They finally. They finally bought into Ime Udoka. And they're just balling right now, y'all. I'm telling you. They got a lot of time in the shooting. They're showing the balance that they showed in the beginning of the year when they started off hot. Defensively, they've been playing some of the best defense in the NBA lately. Uh, guys are buying into their roles. The young guys are doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, you got the you got the veterans. They fill in, make big time shots. Houston Rockets, man, they just been playing great basketball. But that's not surprising, man. Look who look who on that sideline. He made you doka, and I'm telling y'all, let's go have a shout out to Sneed. Telling y'all what's going to happen. They going to get the 10 spot. They going to whoop the Lakers' ass and eliminate them. They might not make it all the way through. 
But I guarantee they go they go eliminate the Lakers and the Warriors. Shout out to Nicholas uh Gnard. Yeah, Dylan Brooks been balling. We gotta get we gotta tell her how it is. Memphis Grizzlies made a huge mistake by letting Dylan Brooks go. I hate that my team let Dylan Brooks go. Uh, I think that was a huge mistake. I think that's gonna come back to haunt us down the line. But we got a lot of we got a lot of young talent, G Leaguers that we can sign to major deals. And, and and I think and I think I think we're gonna be in a good spot down the line for us on my Memphis Grizzlies. But man. Hey Sneed, I'm telling you, man, the Warriors in trouble, man. Sometimes your luck runs out. Sometimes, man, it's it just time to say it's over. And I think that's what they got to do, man. They got to accept it. They got to accept reality. That that time is up, man. Uh, Warrior fans, y'all had a good run while it lasted, man. We never thought we would say that the Warriors are a good team, but they are. I mean, win championships, but they did, I mean. Man, I just accept this shit. And, you know, don't be mad, be glad. Now, TA5, Warriors going to drop out, but the Lakers will lose that first play-in game as well. So, don't want to tell you, don't sleep on it. Man, shout out to my boy Marco Henry. Yeah, so I'm telling y'all, I don't sleep on none of this stuff that fit the tape plays, man. It just meant to be. Shout out to Old Head Podcast, man. Old Head, you might get your wish, man. You may get one of these young teams to make a playoff run, man, where he make a doka doing. He might need to be in Coach of the Year. They let Doc Rivers saw her as um, win uh, Coach of the Year of 41 to 41. So they can let you make a doka win Coach of the Year if. Especially if they make the playoffs, especially if they make it to the play in. Ima Yudoka should be in the running for coach of the year. Damn, old head, who they say you block it now? Yeah, but Sneed, the Warriors, man, they're just showing a lot of inconsistency, man, uh, unfortunately. It is what it is with them, bro. Um, offensively, they've been up and down. Their role players haven't been doing what they're supposed to do. Um, it It's just unfortunate. But I think that slow start came back to home. And country boy, yeah, salute to you. Hit that like button, y'all. But, uh. Country boy, your Rockets, man. Y'all gonna make the playoffs. In my opinion, I got y'all making it. Y'all gonna eliminate both the Warriors and the Lakers. Y'all gonna eliminate both them teams. And Marco, yeah, your Rockets, man. Yeah, y'all rockers looking good. Man, what's wrong with this thing?
Yeah, salute to y'all, man. I've, I've seen a country boy. He made they bought in and what he made, but he made brought to the table now. Those young bulls playing ball at the right time. They looking good. Uh, just just the Warriors. Y'all catching y'all catching these teams out guard at the right time. And honestly, like I said. Y'all go eliminate. Y'all go get that ten spot when y'all play that nine to ten matchup. Y'all going to beat the Lakers because when it comes down to just one game, when it comes to winning it all, I believe that Ime Udoka would come up with a perfect game plan against the Lakers, and y'all will eliminate the Los Angeles Lakers. That's just my honest opinion, and I just think y'all y'all are a more talented team, and I think y'all are deeper than the Lakers, so y'all definitely go ball of the Lakers. In my opinion, um, a lot of people not gonna see that. A lot of people gonna say, "Herm, you capping Herm, you wilding," but I believe otherwise, and I believe that you guys are gonna do y'all thing. I, I respect the shit. I respect the shit that's going on in Houston now. They finally bought in. They was hard headed at first. They was listening at first, but those young, those young guys are understanding their roles. They playing for one another finally. And they're doing what they're supposed to do, and, 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 uh, and, and I'm and I'm telling you, what Ime Udoka always do late in the season, his teams get better late in the season, year after year, and they always make strong pushes at the end of the year. So it's not surprising. I'm not surprised by it. I just didn't realize how close they they are, and they so close now to the point where. I think Golden State going to fold. They blew a three-one lead. I won't be surprised they blow another, blow another uh, two or three game lead to lose that ten spot. Um, and end of the day with the Lakers, y'all don't want to deal with no Emay Udoka coach team in a, in a win or take all situation. And and, and I would just tell y'all now the Houston Rockets are deeper. They are more talented. They are more athletic. And they're just as physical as you guys. And the skill-wise, they got it. And if Jalen Green keep playing consistent like he playing consistent, playing with a lot of energy, playing, staying positive, if Van Fleet keep hitting big shots, Jeff Green making big plays, if, if the Thompson twin keep balling the way he's balling, Jabari Smith keep being solid, if Sagoon keep playing the way he's playing, man, look, Dylan Brooks, just stay the course. Don't be in any controversy. Just play basketball, Dylan Brooks. You y'all keep doing that. The Houston Rockets is gonna be a team to be reckoned with, to be and be afraid of. I'm telling y'all that now. So, you guys, the Houston Rockets may give the real basketball fans what they've been wanting. Seeing Steph Curry. They send LeBron Ramon James ass packing. Send the ass to the house. But y'all, y'all hit that like button, y'all. If y'all not, y'all subscribe. Man, y'all be a rare of the Houston Rockets, man. Hey, salute to y'all. Much love, y'all. I'm out.